In the air and out. Just got... Oh, no, no, no. He's dropped the sitter. Straight into the hands of Gully. Angled bat. Damien Martin puts it down. What a first over. In swinging wide. Out swinging four buys. Gets it right. The outside edge straight to Damien Martin. absolutely smashed and along the ground the whole way I think uh, Brad Williams might have said something to Ganguly last not played too well on that occasion and Brad Williams has had the last say and Ganguly is gone with the short pitch delivery right at him excellent bowling from Brad Williams it's a line that I think Australia should be bowling at Indian captain for a lot longer over leg stump not outside off stump. The Indian captain who loves playing square of the wicket on the offside has nowhere to go. Oh, that's a grand shot. That field will be a little bit slow with all the rain. It's run for 54. starting to come thick and fast now Tendulkar has hurt his ankle there in playing that shot I can't imagine Saurav Ganguly being keen to run here's the square cut, beautiful shot he just has to put so much weight or nearly all his weight on that right foot That's a good shot Getting very straight, I'm not sure it's right out of the middle of the bat thought it was going for four when he hit it and then started to accelerate a little bit oh that's beautifully played and it's four because I think uh, the problem there for the fieldsman at uh, backward point was that the ball was going so fast he actually took off it was Damien Martin there took off and the ball actually went flying past him before he had time That's his off century. Sachin Tendulkar hobbles down for a single. And uh, everyone right across the continent of India and certainly in this ground, all his supporters will be very happy with this and he's not finished yet. In the air, but safe, beautifully played. Doesn't have to run for that. Wafted off drive. Superb placement. trying to get on the back foot there to heave that one down the ground and that has brought a smile to the face of Andrew Simons he's got him before in the series and uh, now he's got him here at the Gabba didn't spin slid straight on Sachin Tendulkar was looking for a little bit of spin to get it down mid on mid wicket but all he got was the two hands of Andy Simons 86 with an injury Horton Bolt Simons 2 for 147 is now the 33rd over beautifully placed aren't they for um, guys like Uvaraj he's the one I'd like to see play well um, he's a magnificent player when he goes very strong well, that's nicely cut this might go to the boundary for four he's got that into the right place yes it's gone well that's a much needed boundary and there's 54 VVS Laxman Better than run a ball, just the one boundary. And very useful innings, two for 243. It's in the air. It's picked the gap between well, the two men, one at square leg and one at mid wicket, and raced away for four. Well, Australia's just put the third man up inside the circle to play an extra man on the leg side boundary. It still didn't work. In between Hayden and Martin. Martin on the left of screen was well inside the rope. He needs to be careful about that. I don't see any advantage of being 15 or 20 inside the rope. As we speak, they've gone back to the old stuff. Martin back up into the circle. 
third man gone back to the rope. The top left of screen, you'll see a man down on the boundary. He goes again. That'll be four more. It's good hitting from Rahul Dravid. What a noted big hitter. More of a worker of the ball, Rahul Dravid. It's two boundaries in a row. Right where Damien Martin was. Brilliant stroke play. This one could well be out. Brad Williams. Straight down his throat. A little disappointed he didn't hit the third boundary in the row. He's done a good job for India. He hits the more difficult of the two. For four, the ball before then gets the low full toss. Hits it off the inside edge. Trying to go straight over the bowler's head. Inside edge to Whitish and Shortish mid on. Long on. Dravid not happy. The Australians will take it. 13 balls to go. Three for two eight. Oh, beautifully hit. Oh, oh. He's a great player to watch. VVS Laxman. And now rated into the 90s. 94. I'd hope Brett Lee is trying to bowl Yorkers. That's it. But he's bowled bounces now in slot balls. And I've never seen a ball come out of the middle of the bat so well as that. That is flush out of the middle of the bat. Gives his stumps up. Andrew Simons is that fielder who makes no impact in the ball. Bang, that's six to eight inches from the toe of the bat is the middle. I reckon he's found it. He's flicked that away. He's got better than one. He's got four. Lovely use of the wrists. Lee is copying the brunt of this wonderful batting. 13 off this over so far. Before they fiddled with their fine leg fieldsman a couple of times, but India have been able to play it squarer or finer, whatever's needed. Last ball. Oh, he's bowled him. And he's got it right this time, Brett Lee. It's 147 Ks. Straight and full. It's gone underneath you, Brad Singh. It was after winning the toss batting first Ganguly and Tendulkar started well Tendulkar made 86 and also injured himself in the process Dravid a very useful 74 but VVS lacks when they're 103 from 113 all the bowlers apart from probably Jason Gillespie suffered Gillespie bowled well 10 overs for 40 but Brett Lee one for 83 from 10 and even even Harvey who generally is uh, very miserly in the one day is one for 61 from his 10 Four for 303 India, so Australia will need to make 304 runs tonight. And, uh, if they are to do that, they need to score at a run rate of around about 6.08 runs per over. In the outfield relatively fast. Yeah. That's bad luck because it was almost a great save. He really needs to find a way to curb these two. Off the edge and into the boundary. That's safe. And it's four. Good sensible batting, all the field except two must be inside that uh, fielding circle or fielding area that's marked out. Well, this, the Indian bowlers must have known that this was going to happen. A little bit of swing there for Patan, which will encourage him. Chance at mid on. Is the one they wanted well either one of the two and Hachi has uh, well in all his excitement he's gone down on his knees Gilchrist the man miscuing there at a time when Australia had uh, taken 46 of the bowlers well that's the sort of reward you get when you're keen to have a bowl 
against guys who are really going. Tommy finds a gap of cover, that's four. Good reply, Balaji went for the width again, he put him away beautifully. That is so frustrating. He beats him all ends up, one ball, and then he gets smashed through the covers next one. Yes, this is a good shot from Ponting. Also out there a little bit, on the up, boy, didn't he ever go at that. It's a beautiful shot. And it's four. Perfectly timed on drive. I think can do it. Now it's Hayden's turn. So it'll be four more. Beautifully played. Ten runs off the over. Ten overs bowled. Hayden goes to 49. It's one for 78. In the air, should be out. Should be out. Should be out. Is out, big wickets, poor shot. BVS Vexens takes the catch and a very disappointing shot from Ricky Punning. Yeah, I don't quite understand it actually. Um, I think all he needed to do was to uh, knock it around for ones and twos. He's trying to hit that over square leg and uh, unfortunately it's gone straight up. Laxman was cool, wasn't he? Have a look at this. Took it as clean as a whistle. He's a great batsman, but he's pretty safe as well when it comes to the field. And I think they've enjoyed that one. They enjoy getting rid of Ponting. Two down for 86. Well, let's get back to it, because that's going down the ground for last for six. World Series cricket, 77. Um, Yes, he loves that shot, doesn't he? He loves the cover drive, he's gone for it. It went whistling just above the ground. Like a rocket was going towards backward point. And uh, beautifully... Oh, it's gone past the catching man at mid-wicket. No wonder it's gone past because it was careened. And that is a great example of what we were talking about a couple of overs ago with uh, Matthew Hayden. He's looking to get forward here. The bowler's dug it in short, but he's good enough. Well, he's off the front foot, really. He's a metre and a half out of his crease, playing a pull shot. To have the time to do that is a great skill. There's a few Indian fieldsmen thinking that was a chance, but that's just hit too well. Oh, and uh, he's caught him. That's out. Horton ball. That's a very good catch. Well, are we getting his first over? And uh, well, it just seemed to me that uh, it was just a little bit slack there that shot played straight back just watch this it's turning away from him but did he close the face well he just popped it back and it was nicely taken one hand and it went back quicker than he thought it's a sweep shot in the edge in the gap he's got to go for four and races to 98 with a superb shot of a two men out ten metres apart it was his highest score in Australia in a one day game Field. Like there's one short called the ball before. It's all happening. Commentators are bamboozled. The crowd are bamboozled. They get a chance to clap a second time. Now here they go. for great innings. Into the gap, beautifully played. He's very quick on his feet, Michael Clark. If they spin superbly. It's beautifully played. He just dropped in a fraction short. And Clark, good use of the feet. Back. In the air, man down there. Should get to it. Should catch it. Oh! There goes the ball game on the field. That was a sitter. Balaji straight down his throat, first ball back, and what a miss. It's gone this time, big wicket, good comeback by the young lad, he's only 19, and he's got a big wicket. 
Brett down on the field has responded with a good and retired Hayden departs. Superb bowling from a teenager. The first man that the captain went to was Balaji. If Balaji could have got to the keeper before Patan, he would have. He was sprinting in. He's right down on the boundary. Matthew Hayden, outside edge. Good bowling, Patan. Short of a length. Hayden looking to force on the up. Patan and keeper. Hayden and his Queensland crowd. He's got that fine, Michael Bevan. And he'll get a boundary. Not the start the captain was after. Dangerous man to have in there for the fielding side. Bevan is so experienced. We've seen him play quite calmly in difficult situations. And more recently in the World Cup. Keeps his head. Hasn't uh, done anything at all in this competition so far. But in... There's a big edge on that. Yes, there certainly is a big edge on that. Michael Clark stood his ground. It was a wide delivery. He couldn't fool Steve Buckner. Right on the toe. And uh, with that wicket, India's chances have increased and Australia are going to struggle from now on. Bevan will have to take over. Six for 224. Michael Clark played very well, 42 from 45. And now he's gone. He's away. He's away with the boundary. Ivan Patan tried to surprise him with the short one. And Harvey was ready for it. It was a good shot, but uh, I'm not too sure it was a good delivery first up to Patan because the bowler has been moving the ball off the seam when he gets it up to the batsman. In the air. And it's in the gap. It's four. That's Bevan at his best. Final delivery, and Kumbai ripped away beautifully. In the air, man out there getting under it, should be out. He is, big wickets. Harvey finds Gavasco on the fence at 7 for 249. 55 by 44 required, big wicket. Good, safe. He's gone for it, went off the back, it's Kumbai, takes the catch. Eight gone, well bowled, good intelligent bowling. He's gone. It's 38 of 24 required. He's gone for it, and it's a very well hit. It's a very good hit. It's gone for four through mid wicket. It was short, and he gave it the big back left and then bang. Well, the gap down to 11. Too short, and he gave uh, Bevan a lot of areas to hit that ball. Finally comes up. Presses it to deep cover. And they get two. There's a chance to run the bowls if the throw's good. Gotta be close, it's gonna be close to out. Very close. I think that's out. I think it was a very good throw, and I think it's Kabaska again. Under pressure, keeping his cool. The throw was near the bales. The bowler did well. And where's the batsman? He's out. Is he no? It's quote. Oh, what a photo finish. Where's the bale? Yeah, well, they'll give that out. Very good piece of work there by uh, Jason Gillespie. Full stretch, and I think he's just got home. It was an excellent piece of uh, fielding. The throw was right next to the stumps. So Balaji was in the right position as he actually took the ball and brought his hand onto the stumps. But Jason Gillespie had just stretched out enough. That's great cricket. Good piece of outfielding great running by the big man. He's happy, so he should be. It's 23 up 11. Australia still with. Here's the pick up. Good throw. Maybe the bowler should have been the other side of the stumps. He had to turn back a fraction, but great running by Gillespie. Just made it. Big tall man stretching. Throw was just a fraction wide. Excellent cricket under pressure from both teams. He does in the air, high ball, bit off coming around, he's running a long way, he's caught it, has 
Messi. Very, very good catch. Very good catch. Time in the game. Good young cricketer. We've talked about him. He bowls well. That was a great catch under pressure. Yes, he covered a lot of territory. He's come from the cover position. But the important thing is here, he wanted the ball. He was off immediately, not hanging around waiting to see if somebody else was going to get there. Patan kept his eye on it all the way. And a good catch. So the young guys are doing a terrific job in this situation for India. It's nine. Yorker, this should be run out surely. That's it, that's the end. A big win by India. They win by 20 runs, well deserved. Great batting. Attacked early on by Gilchrist and Hayden. And that's a big, big victory for India. One day level. Excellent Yorker there from Patan, and finally they produced the hit. So that's a good win to India. They batted very well. And, uh, they bowled extremely well. Most of their fielding was uh, was good. And they've certainly deserved this victory. Laxman and Tendulkar uh, setting it up, setting a very good foundation early on. And the young bowlers have been the ones that have been impressive in these final few overs. And uh, Rohan Gavaska making a good debut. Got a wicket, brilliant court and bowled. And did some good work in the outfield. So it's been an impressive victory uh, by India, particularly because the youngsters have contributed so much to the victory. For 284. The young lines.